Welcome to this very special edition of Sister to Sister. You know what? It's our 10th anniversary! Oh, and what an amazing 10 years it has been. It's awesome to see how the relationships have built and also with you at home that you're watching and supporting and our wonderful live audience that we have with us. Such a joy, Kathy. So, stay tuned. anniversary show. I'm Anna Fry and I have the great privilege of hosting the program today and we know that you are ready at home for some great questions. We also have a fantastic audience live in the studio with us. They are ready and of course we have the beautiful sisters. But our very first question goes to Robin Heipel, who's always behind the scenes, but she is the producer of Here this show. Here you are, Robin. Okay, so Robin, we want to know, how did it all begin? Oh, let me go back to this story. It was <laughs> back in a long time ago. It was back in 2013, where the leadership here at Cornerstone Television decided they wanted to show much like the view, but that it comes from a biblical perspective, that we can answer the questions of the day and all the struggles that women in men sometimes who want to admit that they had watched the show, right. go through, and but from a biblical pr perspective, from wonderfully opinionated ladies. So we did auditions. We had over 30 women respond to our audition call. We didn't think anybody would respond, but 30 women responded. You were one of them. That's right. And that's how you came to Cornerstone Television. But we ended up with these fabulous five that we have right here. Yes. And it's been 10 years of this original cast. Yes, what, what a blessing. Yes. 10 years, the Ten original, years. same, fantastic five. And now I'm gonna get out of the yes, way and let you take over. Ask them some questions, all right, <laughs> yes. All right, ladies, the first question is, what were your initial reactions and feelings about being a part of this show? Well, I've got to start with the scripture. You know, girls, <laughs> I do. <laughs> Romans 11, and I'm sure our beautiful audience knows it, God's gifts and calling are without repentance. Mm -hmm. He doesn't regret it. He doesn't revoke it. It's irrevocable. But guess what? We don't often know what our gifts and calling are, do we? That was me. Robin emailed me. I said, I don't have time. I'm a lawyer. But I love CTV and I love the ecumenical nature. My parents and I were here at the groundbreaking when I was just a teenager. Uh, but I didn't understand. She emailed me again. Oh, no. Then John... One of the former producers, I said, I know John since he was little, I better respond. So I came, Kathy didn't know, I was sitting next to her, she didn't really know who I was, but she's as friendly as anything. So we have to understand, sometimes it takes a push, a nudge, uh, someone else seeing something in you that you don't see in yourself. And that's the beautiful thing about the show and how it started. And I almost wasn't here at all. Oh, we're, so glad you're here. we're glad you're here. Well, I think with, with all of us, we all have our own gifts. But when God called us to see TV for this, we all answered the call for service. And Roxanne is our scripture person. Every question. So thank you for the scripture. I, you know, I've been behind the scenes for years. Uh, and really enjoyed it. Was a prayer partner. Used to ring in my home as well as being, uh, you know, on camera with uh, Steve Toten back with Steve Toten days. And um, just so blessed to watch CTV evolve. Norma and Russ Bixler, and you know, go through a couple of changes. Never really thinking about being in front of the camera here. I've, I've done it other places. So um, Arlene Williams. A lot of you remember her at home, um, had mentioned to me 
uh, that there was the show they were coming up with and she put my name in and she wanted me to go and audition. And I'm like, oh, all right. So I forget how many auditions they had. And of course I come to the very last audition, you know, and I don't remember the questions or anything. I answered them. And to be honest, I was shocked that they called me back, so. Uh, <laughs> but I'm here, been here for a decade now, y'all, you know. church was always involved with Cornerstone, whatever capacity, come pray on the prayer line, music team, do music during telethon time, you know, whatever, whatever it takes just to get the gospel out, just to be kingdom. And I was preaching one day at the church and um, uh, one of the producers here was there and he said, I think that you need to come audition for Sister to Sister. You'd be really great on TV. And I thought, well, of course I was born for this. <laughs> <laughs> She's a homework woman. She aspires to a homework. Of course, I will go. But honestly, I mean, to see the, is evolution a good word? You evolve over a decade. Yes. It's almost, it, it's, it's, it's not like you're, re, you're a totally different person, but you have changed. I have changed yes. and grown and more, but I've done it with sisters. Mm. Amen. So it just makes life sweet. So I think it's awesome. Yes. Amen. Well, when I was a little girl, I actually promised my parents mm. that someday I would be on TV. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> of course. And I studied broadcast communications when I was in college, but then I never did anything with television oh. until I was in my 30s. So I feel like it's a good testimony that sometimes you don't blossom until later in your life. Sometimes yes. it's not right out of school that you yes. do the thing that you studied and that God is faithful. And I didn't get my opportunity until later in life. And that you just trust that the thing that God has planted in your heart, that he will grow that in his time. Amen. Amen. Oof. And the ladies, over the years, you have shared so much of your lives, so much of your hearts. After you shared, were you ever concerned that maybe you overshared? So not me. <laughs> <laughs> I might have did that out of order. We probably had some kind of Leave it to me to throw it out of order. But anyway. Kathy, so. we want to hear from you. How about yeah, you? I'm sorry. Uh, I'm no, I did it wrong. No, no, no. no girl. Yeah. One have thing, you ever overshared? I'd say no because one of the things that I have a tendency to do is to ask, like you're, you're, you know, after you become a little more seasoned, I'm not like calling myself old or anything like that, but you know, you come a little more seasoned and I, one of the things that I do is if I go to share something that involves somebody else, I ask for their permission. And if they give me the release, then I share it. If they don't, then I don't. The other thing is, I think I'm pretty transparent. So when it comes to my own personal stuff, I don't have to ask for anybody's permission except for me, unless the Holy Ghost says, uh, you need to not do that, girl. You know. Yeah. I, I have definitely overshared. There's no question okay. that I have overshared. However, it's my sisters. And when I'm in the show, we really are looking at each other. We're listening to each other. So yeah. maybe something I was going to say, it yes. changes yes. because That's of something good. that That's Roxy good. said, yeah. or Corey That's or Amy. Yes. So true. I have overshared. However, that has created a culture of prayer for my sisters for wow, me. That's yeah. good. Yeah. That's good. That Amen. Really good. I, have? I have definitely overshared. <laughs> um, but you know, my prayer in my personal life and my professional life has always been, God, use me in spite of me. Right. Right. <laughs> I constantly feel a, a pull on this pretty much every program. That's why I need like an Advil afterwards. <laughs> <laughs> like what to share, what not to share. Yes. You know, there's so many navigating parts of marriage, children, ministry. You're dealing with situations, real life stuff. It's like, so I constantly battle. And, and it's such a place of vulnerability that we yeah. sit in. Absolutely. I mean, we say something and it is out there. Yeah, we right. can't go rip it and take it back. Yes. And, and we have a responsibility. Yeah honestly, for what we say and what comes out of our mouth. So yeah, yeah, there's a tension. Yeah, but yes. what happens with you, what I love is that you're very real on this show, Amy, yes. and you share things that I say, ooh. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. I think the importance too is in, in how we share it. That's you know right. what I That's mean? Right. So there, because we, we are aware that there are people watching right. and they really want answers. Like yeah. they, they are, okay, what, what do I yes. do with this? Mm -hmm. So I think honesty, transparency, is what 
not only the people have tuned in for, but I think it's what God is requiring of us. Yes. But using wisdom on how to do it is key. And maybe the world share. has maybe kept maybe us flow real. rubbed off on me. Yes, that's right. <laughs> that's what happened. We've rubbed off on each other and yeah. flow when we begin. Let's keep it real, ladies. Yeah. Let's be yeah. real. She's our truth person. And <laughs> Proverbs 2 says, wisdom and truth will enter the very center of your being filling your life with joy. How do we get joy? Wisdom and truth. That's what we are about. And I remember when we auditioned, one of the ladies got up and said, I want to debate the attorney pointing to me. Oh, wow. like, Woo, maybe I do belong here. Because <laughs> we're, we don't come to wisdom and truth on our own. It's by the That's guidance right. of right. the Holy Spirit. It's, it's us interacting together. And I came from a place of religious culture, secular culture. I didn't fit quite in either culture. You know, do you stay home and bake bread or you go to fast food? Is your husband, are you a help me or are you a partner in marriage? You know, I was always on the edge somewhere else. But this show let me express myself as a Christian woman, yeah. believing in the okay. Lord, right. but having the diversity of ideas. Hallelujah. Right. Yes, she has overshared. Yes. <laughs> All right, well, I have to say, we all love oversharing. Isn't that right, audience? It's, yes. Ladies, for being so vulnerable and authentic through the years. So, well, we are really just getting things started here. The sisters have so much more to share. We've got more questions to ask them, but we got to take a quick break. We'll be back right after this. right back to the questions and the sisters. So sisters, I want to know, we want to know, what was your favorite moment from the show? Corey, we'll start with you. My favorite moments are always our Christmas shows. I love oh, our Christmas yeah. shows. I think we have a picture from one of our Christmas shows. I remember in particular one show, I got to make one of my favorite family recipes, and then I got to share it with my sisters. Yes. I don't know if you guys remember that, yes. but I just loved that. I made that. So Did young. you? Yes. My mom made that too Aww. for us because everyone knows I don't cook very much. Well, okay, so I have favorite moments, many, 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 and most of them involve Flo. I I'm sorry, but they do. Um, well, one time, how she broke out into song, that was yes. praise and beginning. The audience was here and we, Flo broke out in song to get us all in the Holy Spirit. But she has broken out in song many times yes. and then Amy follows, Corey Roxy. But there there was another time that she put spinach in her yes. tube. Yes. And here's me to the camera, blah 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 blah. <laughs> I look over and there's spinach in her tooth. It was great. And then the last one I have, and I don't think they aired it, was Flo was pole dancing. Oh! Yes. oh. <laughs> in a decade, you haven't learned how to be secret. <laughs> Go ahead. That's a good one. Okay, good All right, Flo, that. you're going to have to get her back now. Uh, um, I was at a restaurant a couple of weeks ago with my daughter, and these women walked up and said, Gloria, we know all about you, and oh we God. watched you. We watched you. I'm like, she did one show, <laughs> <laughs> one show, and they're like, Gloria, and and then it made me realize, like, we're sitting here today. She was 13 wow. when I started this because she's 23 now, and the tra the changes, hardships, struggles. Um. And to have that mo, it, it's like we really have done life together and we've done it with a whole lot of other people with us. Yes. And so that is one of my favorite And you know what, Amy, if I could just add, the people have seen you and when we said about being transparent, you are so real. You have talked about Gloria, Gabe, and Judah. So the people in the audience, they yes. know Gloria's yes. struggles right. because you have overshared. <laughs> All right, I'm going to overshare to warning right now. Uh-oh. You know, the scripture in Matthew 20 says Jesus came to 
minister, not to be ministered to. But how many of you know, when we come to this set, we're not always joyful. Well, Amy is always joyful. <laughs> yeah. We're not always joyful. We had struggles. We didn't sleep through the night. We, didn't, we worked hard during the day. We come bringing ourselves as we are, but to the glory of God, we minister to him. So there was a show, I think it was lies, truths, and being weary. I shared about my daughter going to Armenia, 6,000 miles away. I was under such heavy anxiety. I think one of our producers, Dave, said, are you okay? No, I'm not okay. But I knew that somebody else was going through something. Annie was 6,000 miles away with Birthright Armenia volunteering, and I shared my heart about being weary about anxiety. And you know, at the end of that show, I was like set free because I was willing to share my own anxiety, so don't be afraid. In your turmoil, in your anxiety, in your joy, in, your, in, the, in the despair of your heart, truth can rise, and it does here. Amen. Ooh. Ooh, thank you for that word, Roxy. And, yes. and all the time that you ladies have spent together, what have you learned about yourselves and each other? Go, Cora. Oh my gosh, so much we've learned about each other. I think one thing, I think looking from the outside, I think a lot of people would put us in the same box. I think people would say, oh, they're five Christian women. And they would just say, they have the same beliefs. They have the same life experiences. And I think this show proves that yes. we have very different life experiences. Mm -hmm. We see things from different perspectives. Yes. And the beauty yeah. of this show is that in the end, we love each other. Yes. We see things from different perspectives. But we have one thing in common, and is that is we share the same father. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. I, have, I have learned a lot. Corey likes Tiffany Blue. <laughs> Roxanne's husband cooks. Amy is a cheerleader. <laughs> and Flo gives us wisdom, and she's sharp-witted like you can't believe. Oh, yeah. And for me, I have learned to not be afraid to open my heart mm -hmm. to the people that are watching. Mm -hmm. well, there you go. I have, I have almost crave sitting at tables with people that don't see eye to eye with me. Yes. <laughs> Where before I might have just I surrounded myself with people that talk are. like me, think it's like me. We're on, on, you know, so there's no tension it's at all. I'm like, bring on the tension. Right Where's <laughs> the good conversation? That's what that, ha it has developed a muscle in me. Yes. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> for challenging, rich conversations. That's great. Mm -hmm. So I think I kind of came in with that muscle. Yes, <laughs> yes you did. So, um, you know, I, I don't know. For, for me, obviously, you know, the word of God says that every joint supplies. And from yes, my sisters, I have definitely gotten a supply of wisdom, insight, growth, maturity, love, nurturing, um, all of those good things. Um, uh, for myself personally, I still sometimes I'm on the edge. I'm like, oh my God, we only got a sound bite for this answer. I only got, I got to answer this real quick. I mean, meanwhile, I'm wanting to get into the meat and potatoes. Like, ask me hard <laughs> questions. Ask me the sex questions. Ask me the things that nobody really wants to talk about. You know, um, I would love to have a live show with people just shooting questions at yeah. us with rapid fire, like, you know, and um, because this is the effectiveness of television, telling the vision and reaching mm. through, uh, seizing the, the airways and bringing truth because really the, the whole thing of media is just another platform. It's a pulpit to help people pull people out of the pit. Amen. Wow. Well, how she said, she just said she has sound bites. So one day, one day, here we are. In, now, you you can't see one. behind you. There's people holding up like five minutes, one. three minutes. Okay. So she's talking away and I'm watching and I go like this. Like, settle, stop it, right? And she went like this, what? <laughs> Another flow thing. Uh -huh. yes. All right. Well, speaking of the time crunch, we do just have time for one more question. And Amy, you, you're the only one that gets to answer this. What do you think is the secret sauce that has kept this show going for 10 years? Uh, two things. 
number one, I think without the producers and the vision and the heart of this ministry, That's we right. don't sit here today. Right. Without her hard work of the development That's of right. all of the questions and gathering, we don't exist That's here. Right. Um, and another thing is, I think to the core, we are kingdom women. Amen. So we might have different viewpoints on different economy or government or education or one of my favorites over the years was you know should men and women ride in a car by themselves <laughs> I mean those kind of things I mean I remember that moment like I can't believe they don't think like me on yes. this question <clears throat> but I think what has made it all work is that to our core we love God and we love people and we love each other and we build his church, each of us in our own capacities, in our own different ways. And that's what makes sister to sister work. Amen. Well said, well said. Thank you, Amy. All right, well, time is going fast, but there is more fun to be had. I'm actually gonna be ducking out and let the sisters wrap up the rest of the show. So I will see you next time and we're gonna take a break. Stay with us, we'll be right back. Oh my gosh, what an amazing time, 10 years, the secrets, the memories. But here's one thing that stays consistent, our love of the word of God. And we have a special scripture that goes like this, as iron sharpens iron, so does the countenance of a man or a woman or a sister sharpen the other because you see, and it's so true, these sisters make me a much better Kathy. You know, when I read that scripture, I also love to read different translations of that scripture. And in the Amplified, it says, one man or woman sharpens and influences another through discussion. And that's exactly yeah. what we're doing here on Sister to Sister. You know, it doesn't say aluminum sharpens, you know, gold. It says iron sharpens iron. That's right. So there's something about being like that, that, that strong woman of God that knows what you believe and what you don't believe, what you're buying into and what you're not. And you're just sharpening each other through discussion. So Amen. I'm so grateful. Amen. Amen to that. And also iron can't just pick up itself and sharpen itself. They're just tools in the hand of our right. Lord and Master who skillfully picks us up gently. It's not hurting one another. We're not, we're not here to hurt, to condemn, to cause people to feel worse about themselves. We're here to point them to the Lord. And my favorite scripture, you know, one of them, Proverbs 27, deceitful are the kisses of an enemy, but what? The faithful. wound, faithful are, are the, the wounds, wounds of, of a, a friend. friend. A true friend may wound you, but yeah. make you better. Speaking truth in love. Amen. Amen. I am so grateful for my sisters. I feel like when I started here, I was like a butter knife. And now I'm a samurai sword. Girl. Oh, yes. <laughs> I'm gonna say now you're a samurai sword. That's right. Okay, but you're awfully pretty and glitzy. I know. I know. A pretty you're samurai. She's a pretty She's kind of our Marilyn Monroe-ish yes. sister, which yes, we love. I mean, when we decided to be fancy today, yes. okay, this is all I came up with. Be honest. <laughs> but look at my sister. Wow. She's a what do you have for us, Wisdom of Flip? You know, I think everybody said it really well, and I don't want to be redundant with it, but I, you know, I'm a person that likes symbols. And thanks to you who watch the show, thanks to you who support our station, we have been able, through conversation, through the operating in iron, sharpening iron, we've been able to do things like, you have been our life preserver. And you have helped us to reach out to people who are sinking in different areas of life. And you've also sharpened us and we sharpen one another to be fishers of men. Amen. And then we've learned throughout the seasons that there are times when things are a little sour to us. <laughs> and so, but through the grace and the mercy of God and his enabling power, 
with a couple of Holy Ghost mints. Yes. <laughs> he can balance it out and make those things palatable to us as believers. So I have so one for each of you good. when we're done. I'll take it, Candy. And you know, another thing that has been really consistent throughout the 10 years of Sister to Sister is someone in the audience. We are so thrilled and we have a little gift for Roxanne's mother, yes. Anna, Anna, has been here. Roxanne, she does what? not miss a show. Not Never. All. She sits there and watches us even when we bore ourselves. <laughs> <laughs> She's sitting there smiling. Good job. Roxy, what has it meant? Fashion. What has it meant to have your mother with us every show? From the time I was born, my mom's been with me. Aww. You know, when she's taught me that a wise woman builds her house, doesn't destroy it. And I think that she built or her family, her house, as an example, and she's been here more times than I've been. Okay, <laughs> bless you all. Sister to sister says, thank you. Yeah.